I'm going to chemist. You know she got plenty, plenty food for me to eat. Mommy, why are you making the cake? I don't know why everyone wants the potato skins recipe. I mean, it's just potato skins. Now, mine does taste better than your normal restaurant, but still. Now, make sure you clean your skin really good and dry it off extremely well. That is key for a crispy skin because we don't want no lint potatoes now. I get you some Luma foil, and yes, I said Luma foil, and stab your potato all over with a fork. We're pretty much prepping it like we do a regular baked potato. It's just the ending gonna be a little bit different. Coat the potatoes with some grapeseed oil. Trust me when I say, just use grapeseed oil, not olive oil. Get real generous with the sea salt and wrap it in some Luma foil and put it in the oven on 425 for 55 minutes. Now y'all know I like everything thick including my bacon. Now I chop my bacon up into smaller pieces so it cooks way faster than me throwing whole slabs of bacon on the pan. And it cooks more evenly too. Shh. Now that my potatoes are done, I let them cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. This part is a very hot process. So if you don't have cooker fingers or cooker hands, you might want to wear some hot gloves. So I cut them in half and then I cut them in half again. Now at this part, you can scoop out as much potato as you want to, but I do not go all the way down to the skin. I like some tater with my skins and save them guts, baby. And you see what I mean? That my baker cooks quicker and it cooks more evenly. Now I'm gonna take this out, put it on a paper towel to drain, and I'm gonna let it cool. Now that's probably wondering, is she gonna season that stuff? Of course I am. Get you about two to three tablespoons of melted butter, add some Kinder's butter, garlic, and herb, Add some parsley, some fresh sea salt, and baste the potatoes in this all the way through. And do not be stingy, okay? Baste it. It should be yellow by the time you're done. Yellow, like me. If you can't see the seasoning, you don't have enough. After you baste all of them, put them back in the oven on 425 for 15 to 20 minutes. Or until they look like this. Now add your freshly grated cheese, your crushed up bacon, and put it back in the oven until it's melted. And now you got this fire loaded potato skins appetizer. All right, bye.